The barbell squat is a very important exercise for pumping the lower body. In fact, it's impossible to create a powerful athletic body without squats. In this video, I will explain why you should include barbell squats in your workouts. So, watch the video till the end. It will be interesting. The barbell squat is one of the five basic multi-joint exercises. While squatting, the entire lower body starting from the glutes and thighs, ending with the calves, is included in the work, as well as the core muscles, abs, and lower back. The proper barbell squatting technique involves powerful exhaling while lifting up. That's why it trains the respiratory system, including the diaphragm. That is why regular squats allow you not only to pump up your legs but also create powerful abs. However, despite all the advantages of this exercise, improperly performed squats can create a load on the lower back and overload the knees. If you want to learn how to squat correctly, you need to study the technique carefully by doing this exercise with an empty barbell. What are the benefits of this exercise? Squats are important for the harmonious development of muscles. In addition to directly pumping the legs and buttocks, they strengthen the muscles of the core and abs, as well as improve posture and expand the chest when you do squats as part of a superset with dumbbell pullovers. Heavy barbell squatting has a positive effect on hormonal levels, including growth hormone and testosterone levels in men. This helps to build muscle mass faster and increases libido. Another advantage of squatting is the development of neuromuscular communication. Since during the exercise, the movements of the hip, knee, and ankle joints must be coordinated. How to squat with a barbell properly. Warm up to prepare the muscles of your legs and ligaments for the upcoming loads. It is the main rule of squats. You should always perform the first two sets of the exercise without additional weight and with arms extended forward. Then you should perform one or two sets with an empty barbell. Since not only the front but also the back of the thighs work during squats, the special attention must be paid to stretching the glutes. That's why during warm-up squats, you should linger in the lower position while directing the tailbone as far back as possible. What is the correct barbell squat technique? In order to learn how to squat correctly, use an average working weight and do the exercise in 3 to 4 sets of 10 to 12 reps. First, Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and point your toes slightly out to the sides, about 30 degrees from the center. Wide-legged squats, the so-called sumo squats, are not recommended for beginners due to increased load on the lower back. Second, bring your shoulder blades together. The barbell should be placed on the upper back, elbows pointing down. Your hands only support the barbell in a fixed position but don't hold the weight itself. The chest should be as open as possible, and the shoulder blades should be brought together. If you can't hold the barbell in this position, then its weight is too much for you. Third, squat to parallel. At the bottom of the squat, the thighs should be parallel to the floor, and the knees should not go beyond the line of the toes. Be careful not to squat too low, as this will put more strain on your lower back. Also, don't finish the movement too high. In this case, only the front of the thighs is involved in the work, but the back of the thighs is not involved. Fourth, keep the position of the spine. At the bottom of the movement, it is necessary to keep the spine in a perfectly straight position. To do this, the gaze should be directed to a point on the floor about one meter from you. Fifth, lift up, not at the expense of your knees. When lifting up, the movement begins with the pelvis. Only then the knees and body straighten. A movement that begins with straightening the knees is erroneous and violates the technique. You should imagine that you are being pulled up by a rope tied to the pelvis and not concentrate on pushing the barbell with only the power of your knees. Sixth, keep your abs tight. At the top of the movement, between reps, don't relax your knees, and don't transfer the weight of the barbell to your toes. Stand up as straight as possible. Try to stretch up while straining the abs and maintaining a calm rhythm of breathing. If you can't do this, or if your breathing is out of whack, it means that the weight of the barbell is too much for you. How to maximize the effect of barbell squats? To increase the effect of barbell squats, it is necessary to strain the glutes as much as possible at the top of the movement in order to feel their involvement in the work when lowering down. 
It is also important to control the depth of the squat, going not too high and not too low. In turn, the upward movement should not begin with straightening the back but with pushing the weight due to the muscles of the back of the thigh. Can you do barbell squats if you have knee problems? If you have a pain in your knees or spine, the best option would be to replace the barbell squat with a leg press. Despite the benefits of squats for developing leg muscles, this exercise can exacerbate knee problems. However, you need to remember that leg press cannot replace squats, they can only supplement them. The disadvantage of the leg press is that it excludes the stabilization muscles of the core from the movement. By the way, friends, be sure to watch other videos on this channel. Links are on the screen right now.